Take number 20. Welcome back clinical problem solvers. My name is Reza Manesh, a clinician educator in Baltimore, Maryland. I'm a co-founder of the Clinical Problem Solvers. One of the most fundamental procedures of a clinician is diagnosis. The clinical problem solvers are dedicated to democratizing the teaching of diagnostic reasoning. In order to support our effort, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's episode is going to focus on our trainee-led clinical reasoning series in collaboration with the Human Diagnosis Project, specifically the Global Morning Report series of the Human Diagnosis Project. Um, we'll include a link to download the Human Diagnosis Project in our description. The Global Morning Report series is an easy way to get an additional rep of practice to sharpen your diagnostic skills. Each case is peer reviewed, takes less than three minutes to solve, and contains a number of teaching points relevant to the case and final diagnosis. The Global Morning Report series editorial team identifies two cases each month to be featured on the clinical problem solvers. Myself or Robbie will pair up with trainees across the world in attempt to solve these cases in real time. That means we don't have any exposure to the case before we try to solve it. This is important because we're really trying to mimic the uncertainty that goes into admitting a patient from the emergency department. Trainees are nominated by their program leadership. The program leadership can send an email to the clinical problem solvers at gmail.com. We welcome trainees from all across the world. Now I'm gonna pass the microphone to my brother, mathematician and co-founder, Robbie Jeha, who is a clinician educator in San Francisco, California. Hi folks, my name is Robbie Jeha and I'm a clinician educator in San Francisco. I had the pleasure of co-founding the Clinical Problem Solvers with the one and only Reza Manesh. So let's pick up where Reza left off. So the Human DX case is shared with the CP Solvers team a few minutes before the recording. Let me break down how that Google document is shared with us. So on the first page, it's really just all intros. And every subsequent page is an aliquot of the case. After we go through the intros, the Human DX case presenter will read the first aliquot. After he or she is done, well, the CP Solvers team will then start to share their thinking and discuss said aliquot. And this process repeats itself until the final aliquot. That's when the CP Solvers team will actually have to put our nickel down to the final answer. But don't worry, we get a heads up right before that's coming. So at the bottom of the Google document of the final aliquot, there'll be a line saying, CP Solvers, please tell us your final diagnosis. After this, uh, after the final diagnosis is revealed, the human DX case presenter has some teaching points that he or she will make, and we kind of just divulge into a conversation reflecting on the experience and on the case. We've shared uh, some examples of human DX cases in the link right below. Man, I've always really wanted to do that. Um, yes, so check them out, and, and if you can, check out our website, because there are a bunch of other examples of human DX cases that are well worth the listen. So now we've talked about the case itself. Let's talk about the recording. Again, in the link below are some tips and tricks about recording, but let me share two important points. One, we record remotely over Skype. And two, headphones, headphones, headphones. Everyone needs to have headphones. And again, more details in the link below. So we've talked about the human DX case. We've talked about the recording. What about the clinical reasoning? So that, We'll actually spend a whole hour before recording practicing with you all. Uh, Reza or I will be hanging out with you and we'll spend a whole hour just practicing our clinical reasoning. We cannot wait for you to join us and we really, really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us and to share your thinking with the world. Thank you.